it's chirping the tires on every ship right there, and that's partial oh, yeah. throttle. Badass Fox body. What do you think? Sexy roll? I mean, he almost took us out though, bro. Like, I can't drive. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? We're both trying to go in the same lane. Nah, bro, there's two lanes. Yeah, he's cutting across. I hope he sees this video and knows he's a masshole. He has a nice car. <laughs> You're so weird. That's what you call them. The Massachusetts drivers are all massholes. Oh. Uh, bro? Are we? You know why I like Hyundai's? Why we always rent Hyundai's and Kia's? Even the base models have like the full self-drive shit. Look at this. It doesn't even yell at me to put my hands on the wheel. It just does it like a good car. Wait, let's see if it takes a corner. Yo. If, <laughs> fine, if we it's die. Doing it, it's doing it. We good. We good. Okay. 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 Where are we and what are we doing? We are in Maine. I don't know where in Maine, but we're in Maine. Oh, there we are. We're in Auburn, Maine. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we're here to buy a Z. Um, oh, yeah. Anna called like 30 dealerships. And 60. this was the... 60? 60. Damn, Anna called 65? 65 dealerships. And this was the only dealer that had a base model with that they're willing to let go at MSRP. And they've been super chill. We put the deposit down earlier in the month. And, you know, they didn't try and sell it out from under us. So we're out here in Auburn, Maine, going to Lee Nissan to buy this one. And the reason we went with a base model is the the LS. So the, the performance trim really only gets you like a nicer interior, which we don't care about because we put a bucket seat and a harness in there anyway. More than that, um, it, the main money comes from the Akibonos, like the sport upgrade. For the for the big brakes and then the LSD, LSD and uh, Akibonos, seats. we can just put other ones in or replace them or whatever. And also, I'd rather have the option to do a 15 inch in the rear anyway. So we'll probably just do the fronts as Akibonos. But um, anyway, all of that's aftermarket. It's not worth a ten thousand dollar difference in MSRP. Um, and then the LSD sucks, to be quite <laughs> honest. I mean, it it was fun at stock power levels. The minute we tuned it, that LSD was useless. And so we were gonna have to upgrade the LSD anyway. Um, so yeah, we're going to the base model this time. We got boulder gray. Oh yeah, that that's sick. That's gonna be I sick. wanted that color the first time. We couldn't find one, and yeah. you know we couldn't get our first one at MSRP. But I'm glad we're getting this one at MSRP. Nice. I learned to drive on roads like this. And yet you still can't drive. I used to swing a, <laughs> a four-speed, <laughs> what? A four-speed non-VTEC Integra. Jesus. Think about that, bro. I thought I was cool as hell too. What are we in a, a two-liter Genesis? Yeah, two-liter Genesis, all-wheel drive. Baby. How much power do you think this make? Bro, like 150. <laughs> this thing's so slow. It's <laughs> dog shit. I honestly think it's a two-liter non-turbo. I think they forgot the turbo on this. <laughs> oh god. Like, watch. I got to floor it. <laughs> I didn't feel anything. It's not working. You still okay? There's no. There can't be a turbo, bro. For it to have zero torque, there can't be a turbo on this. Are you sure we're on the right? I don't know, bro. I think, I think Google's taking us to get murdered, to be quite bro. honest. Oh, yeah, those are. Those oh, look, are, those here's are all the dealerships. Uh, hey, look, Lee Auto. That's them, Lee Auto Malls. No way. So, this is their CDJR. Next to it should be the Nissan. I guess they're renovating. Oh, hmm. oh here's. We're Listen. pulling in. This is the second time. Take two. Getting a Z. Oh, look, all their CDJR stuff is here. Hmm. I wonder if this dude waiting outside is, is our salesman. There's our Z. Hey, yo, the Z's right there. Oh, hello. <gasps> yo. Damn, oh. 12 seconds later. So. Wow, two keys? Fancy. Z two. Look, it's a sport this time. Great. Oh, wow. Honestly, the boulder gray is darker in person than it looks like in pictures. Don't you think so? Wow, we got the peasant uh, brakes oh, yeah, this we time. Got, we got the baby brakes. Oh, on no. You guys got the key for the team? Yeah, I took Perfect. one. Perfect. I want to make sure you got them. Just person however you'd like. Ooh. Oh, dude. We got merch. This is fucking <laughs> sweet. Hell yeah. yeah. Is there flex fits too? Flex fits, yes. Bro. Oh, you're the best. New logo. They're Thank nice. you very much. Guys, yep. this is Gage. Oh, yeah. Lee Nissan. Oh, no. if, you're, if you're in the Auburn, Maine area, he's the guy to go to. Let's check this out. I'm going to go grab some stuff with Anna. 
Look at the like base real. seats this time. Yeah. But everything else is the same. Dash, uh, center console, the same screen, which is really nice. But different seats, that's about it. That's the only difference in the interior. Time for you to get swagged up. Oh god, can you put it backwards? Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna look so goofy. Alright man, so we got... It's a tumbler, it's a forged carbon tumbler. Oh, this is sweet. Yeah, you wanna open it? Take a look at it. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and here's a straw and cleaning brush. And shit for it. Oh, nice! Yeah, but yeah. it's a nice... I figure... You probably drink a lot of coffee at Oh god, yeah, run on it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so those are... That's one thing. And then we got you the shirts you asked for. This is the Show Me Your TT shirt. Nice. Ooh. And then a green hoodie. And then our gray, the new gray speed limit shirts we got. And then a classic race. These are fresh. Awesome. Thank you guys. I appreciate yeah, sure. it. Whoa, we had stickers for them too, didn't we? Or did we not bring them? Stickers too? I mean, hey man, you saved us <laughs> enough money <laughs> hey. to justify it. No, I'm going to let go of this beautiful car to somebody. I'm glad it was you guys. Oh, dude, well, we're, we're going to do good things with it. You already Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We're going to make a whole... I mean, this, this video is going to go out after the previous video where we explain what happened to the last car. Oh, God. Uh, it should, it should <laughs> generate... What did you just say? It's got 245s, you're gonna oh, die. Oh no. This interior is so base, bro. But dude, it's the same. But you know what's really funny? Oh wait, bro. this is a different material? I prefer the cloth, yeah. honestly, because they didn't put leather and it wasn't nice leather anyway on the performance trim. So like, I don't mind. Hey, it does have engine oil pressure. Yeah, what the? Bruh. Maybe it's configurable. It's, it's, no, it's the base model doesn't have it, I think. I mean, the base model shows That's engine true. oil pressure. That's true, because the they don't have a- The one shows diff temp. Yeah. That's why. That's sick. I'm glad we actually have engine oil pressure. Okay. That's so much more useful. Yeah, then- uh, Oh, it has a small screen. I guess that's the other thing. But again, no one gives a shit because it doesn't feel any different. Yo, it has adaptive cruise control still. Oh, that's yeah. That's so funny. So what do you get in the performance? Nothing. The performance isn't worth it. So... This is what we should have done the first time. Okay. Before we go too far, yeah. tell, us what, tell us what we're doing. So... We're gonna tune it. I don't. I think the reason we didn't tune it last time, and the reason we're driving off is we don't. You know, technically we don't want to do any of that on. Um, at the dealership. At the dealership, just because you know. Oh, you forgot traction again. Typical. You, you learned nothing from last time. You know, let's go tune it in the parking lot of a Harbor Freight. Oh like God. Any good tuning shop. <laughs> we're gonna so tune it. We so brought... the reason we didn't tune it last time is because. It was in Brownsville, and we weren't sure what gas, and they did end up filling up 87 out of the dealer in them. Uh, so, you know, we didn't have anything good to put in it, and we didn't want to drive it and tune it on 87. Um, and, yeah, this time, we're going to tune it. <laughs> yeah, We're going um, to break this motor in right, and by that, I mean, it's going to see 20 pounds of boost in, like, the next five minutes. And it has legit 81 miles. 81 miles. So far. So it's delivery miles plus whatever they did for like test drives and yep. then they drove it around to fill up gas. Nice. We finna send it. Over now. Okay, this is definitely not gonna make in a video. But so weird. You put a oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, we have. Really we brought the Yakutek this time. Okay, can we? Can you stop show. singing while I'm trying to tell what's going on? Okay, so we have the Yakutek this time. Oh my god. So Yakutek yes, plug. Yakutek dongle. Dongy wongy. Yes. It goes in, same OBD place. Same if you can place. find the hole. So everything's plugged in. The Hussein just made a file. We finna flash it. It's a spicy file. Sure nah, it's not very spicy, blah, blah, huh? Blah. It's a OT, It's literally our OTS map, that's yep. it. So. Right now it's flashing, you see all the lights coming on. The cars are always scared the first time. No check engine lights, that's good. That's what we like to see. We can change that though. Nissan, oh, no. it is 2023. A 2013 BMW had better quality than this. <laughs> A 2007 BMW had better quality than this. That's pretty good. Does it? It's a bone stock car that OTS probably makes 400 to the wheels. Yeah. All right. I guess you should go get Gage and see what's up. <laughs> Any, anything. 
I have my eyes. Do something. I don't see. Is it already recording? Yeah. Okay, it's good to go. Your manager's cool with it? Oh yeah. Alright, cool. Uh Hussein is taking gauge or a salesman for a quick rip. Okay. A little bit, a little bit laggy on the throttle, but that's mainly because it's still. We haven't really done any mods to ride just a tune, yeah. so we try and keep a little bit conservative on it. So you want to go right or left? Out of here? We're gonna take it right out of here. Feels a lot different. <laughs> Feels a lot different. So I, I personally think the sweet spot on all of these cars is an OTS map with no mods. And just that, turn up the boost a little bit. This brings it around so like these stock Zs and stock Red Sport Q50s and Q60s will dyno at around 440. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. 340 to 360 to the wheels. And then when you tune them like that with an OTS map on 93, they'll hit right around 390, 400. So you pick about 50 wheel horsepower. And it, it smoothens out the power band too. Absolutely. So actually the tires held, so we'll do traction off in the next one. <laughs> we'll do it right here actually. Our main business is the VR30 platforms. That's the Q50s and Q60s from 2016 onwards. Yep. So we've tuned over 1,600 VR30 engines, wow. whether it's in a Q50, Q60, or a Z. The Zs, we've done about 10. There's just not that many out there. Right. And so, but what happens is when we have this, it drives our Q50 business because all of those guys feel like a family, of, you know, they're like, oh yeah, uh, the Z yeah, is exactly, you know, yeah. <laughs> the Z's like the little brother for the Q50. So. It, it, it helps us push the platform, honestly. It's no, the absolutely. only reason I even have it. It's like a giant marketing expense. And this one's, so the last one I was getting raped on, It's a good-looking one, though. We're, yeah, it is, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boulder Gray, Boulder Gray is great. Oh, God, oh dude, yeah. we'll send you pictures of it once you put the wheels on and everything. Yes, please do. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to slam it, we're going to put wheels on it, and then, you know, we got our whole race suspension and everything that'll go on it, but it'll look good. So you really thought it felt good? Or was that, was I that a... No, I thought it actually felt good. Okay, I'm glad. Because hey, I noticed the difference when we, we get first got this car. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, when I first got this car, we did the exact same thing. I took it the exact same way and I floored it and just went and I was impressed to an extent because yeah. the, the 9-speed automatic, typically, like I said earlier, I like manuals of these kind of cars, but it, it snapped you into gear enough and I didn't feel a lag. Which yeah. I was really waiting for it and I really didn't did want to feel Did you feel the improved shifting did. now? This one, you can yeah. already tell the difference. Yeah. It's fun. It's 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 one of those things where like we don't get to see it anymore because we've driven like I have uh, infinite like VR thirty customers on a stock block pushing eight hundred horsepower. Yeah. So Open. for us we're like all right they're all the same you know and then when you have like a fucking four second super at the yeah. shop four seconds sixty to one thirty. So. Stupid. Where it's just like, you know, these cars start to feel slow, but it's nice to see somebody who drove a stock one and like, oh yeah, that was fun. I'm like, okay, cool. We're still doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, four, four second Supra, stupid. Yeah, man, if you ever come out to Houston, we'll take you out. We, uh, 
We Definitely go. on the bucket list, so I may have to drop by and Dude, see you. street racing in Houston is something you'll never experience out here. Oh, it's just, I, that's the one good thing around, about yeah. Houston is we have a lot of organized races where we'll, we'll roll out in like packs of like 20, 30 with like spotters <laughs> and everything and we'll be out, you know, all night long. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. Absolutely. They're back. <laughs> Just from what you guys did from yeah, when it was stock to, to now, you, you feel the difference. Yeah. And I'm excited to see what you do to it. Yeah, man. Yep. Right. Thanks for coming Appreciate out with it. us. Absolutely. Thanks for taking me on the ride to see afterwards. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Come out to Houston and we'll, we'll do some more. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. All right, so we'll do a couple pulls. We'll just record them on here, get some data, send it over to Alex, make sure our new Z is a healthy Z. And then that's. That's pretty much it, and then yeah, I'm gonna take it easy on the way gonna, back. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna chill on the way back. Did Anna give you that cord for the Andronado for me? No, we can stop. We'll stop and get it for you. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, I'm actually Indian. So I, I force these guys to listen to Bollywood music like all the time. He loves it. Say you love it. Uh, Turn the camera to you and say you love it. I love it. That's what I thought. All right. I was okay. not paid to say this. You're never paid in general. Yes. I think facts. people think I, you guys actually get paid. No, you guys are no, just. I you guys just love me that much. You always hang out with me for no reason. I work for free. I'm a slave. But yeah, I have nothing else to say. Yep. It's a Z. It's like the other Z. So uh, I highly recommend anybody considering a Z do not get the performance unless you want it for resale value or something like that. It's just not worth the money. Um, yeah, you're paying like 60k out the door, dude. Yeah. Like for, uh, that's if, that's if, that's if there's no crazy markup. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's just it, it. Well, is it 60? It's like 50. Yeah, 55 plus taxes yeah, on, bro, on a well loaded yeah. performance. Yeah. yeah. It's really not worth it, guys. Get a base model. Um, the driving dynamics are identical. Uh, honestly, even without the LSD, this thing's still pretty planted, even when tuned. Well, these so, small tires, too. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised you could hook somewhat in second gear and go straight. Yeah, I wasn't like, you know, and this I mean, is it is a hot uh, day outside, but yep. even then, like, I, I just is... don't see the purpose in you getting a performance. Get a base model, yep. find a base model. They start at like 41, I think the one we got with the two-tone paint and like a couple other things goes up to like 43 and change. Yep. Um, oh, you, you want to talk about the Just get the base automatic. You want to talk about the tune we just put on and how we're going to drive how many miles all the way back? Yeah, so, you know, people are like, oh, how, how reliable is it to tune a car and all that stuff. <laughs> but we're tuning it right I off the I literally line. took an OTS map that, you know, we sell OTS maps. Uh, we, we've recently gotten a lot more because we changed our pricing, obviously. Um, it's literally, it took 10 minutes to flash in a parking lot. If you go to one of our dealers for an OTS, they'll do it for you. If you buy it from us with a dongle, you can do it yourself. Man, we flashed it, we put it in map two. I did four back-to-back -back pulls once the car was warmed up. Oh, 95 you know, miles now. Yeah, well, yeah, now we've driven a little bit more. We've done yeah. more pulls since then, but um, you know, it has 93 in it. We had zero knock retard. Car made about 15 and a half pounds of boost, which is low, but that's what our OTS maps generally target on a bone stock car. If you start adding upgrades, you know, it, it'll make more power as you go along, but at about 16 pounds of boost on an OTS, you know, the Stock car's exhaust, perfectly fine. So. It's on 93 out of whatever pump that the dealer, I mean, I'm sure Gage picked good 93 out of Aston, you know, hey, can you make sure there's good gas in it? But, um, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure it's good 93, but at the end of the day, it's just, hey, 93 out of a pump, tuned it, no issues, now we're gonna drive it 2,000 miles back yeah, on this tune. We're driving I'm not like, worried about like it. 30, 35 hours? That's yeah. if like we drive like nonstop. So, well, by the way, Hussein's not driving because, you know, he uh, he's too bougie for that. The benefits of being the boss. He's going to fly back, and then me and Anna are going to drive it back. So why I pay you guys, or don't. I mean, huh. I haven't seen a paycheck in, I don't know, how many years? <laughs> you do that out of love. Yeah. I pay you, I pay you in love. Nice. Why does that not sound bad, bro? It sounds alright. It's okay for a stock exhaust. Ooh. Nice.
three hours later. Well guys, this has progressively gotten worse. Got a nice monsoon on us. I can't see where I'm going. He's suffering. It's okay, I can see something. <laughs> Got cars behind us with no lights on. No, typical. But uh, we're pushing through. We're almost to our first stop. Uh, hopefully soon. We'll see how this continues. Really the new dog. That is honestly beautiful. See, now the car's fast. Hey. Hey, what's so Mark is really shy, so, you know. But we made a quick stop in Connecticut. <laughs> and, uh... Why don't you zoom in on the back? Oh, yeah, so... Tramp stamp. Yeah. This so happened. the uh, race box car is going to be pretty quick for, uh, for a couple thousand miles. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah I mean, we... it's a beautiful car, and, and, and you know... I need him out there with me, so. Nice sticker though, as a. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we forgot all of, all of our race box stickers, so. Yeah, nice and simple. You know, nothing yep. crazy. I actually got the idea from Hussein with his stickers, so. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, we're gonna head back on the road. But yeah, eight hours more, and then we'll make another stop. It's. Drive safe. Yes, sir. Nice meeting you too. Here's a mess. I don't have my hair gel with me, I lost it. But um, since Hussein's not here, you have to watch me instead. Oh well. But Hussein's probably, you know, he's in bed right now, all nice and comfy uh, while we're out here in the trenches. Not really, this is fun. <laughs> the but, trenches. Uh, yeah, the, the trenches. <laughs> Being the chilly. Um, but yeah, I mean, just before we set off to the rest of the tail, the dragon. Um, few things about the car, I don't know if you care about this because most of you guys are like drag racers, you only, care about straight, uh, you only care about straight line stuff and not corner stuff. Like the second you get one of these cars, you put a drag pack on and then it's soft ass suspension, make it squat. So I've been driving this car around, uh, even even just on the highways, because most of the highways up here, from all the way from Maine, all the way down to where in Tennessee now, they're mostly, uh, they're mostly like corners, curves. Uh, waiting for your cars to fly down, but yeah, um, a lot of the highways down here are like corners and curves and mountains, so it's pretty much like this. So it's not like I-10, I-20 down in like Texas. It's just all straight lines for like you know, a few hundred miles. So it's actually I've had you know a lot of chances to you know actually like you know throw the car around a few corners. Nothing crazy. Uh, again, not my car. I'm not trying to crash it. Um, but the car handles pretty well in stock form uh, for what it is. The only thing really holding it back is the, the brakes that the sport model has and the tires. Um, other than that, it's the same. It feels the same as the performance uh, really uh, when, you, when you're like flooring and putting the power down. The LSD and the, or the lack of an LSD, you don't really, s at least I don't see the difference when you're driving around these roads. But I'm sure if you like hardcore track it, you'll, see the, you'll feel the difference. Uh, you get that one wheel peel every now and then, I don't know. But I haven't got the car to like, you know, get loose like that yet. Um, hopefully, we don't see that either on this road. I'm not trying to die. But, I mean, really, uh, car feels good. Yeah, let's go. Let's uh, go rip it.
think I jinxed it. <laughs> But you know we're, we're you know we're revving it out. You know second, third gear. Uh, oil temp starts to get like you know well over 200. Trans gets close to 200. Um, you can tell I I don't have Xtech pulled up right now, but I'm sure the charger is getting up there too because the heat exchanger is small. But this car heats up pretty quick once you're actually you know doing stuff with it. So I'm not gonna do the entire tail, just like straight up like you know full send the whole time. Because uh, the car gets hot, I don't want it to get too hot. It still has the whatever factory OW20 oil in it. So once I see oil temp gets like you know like 200, 210, I'm gonna let it chill for a little bit until I you know get on it again. So just the limitations of a stock car or stock cooling. But handling wise, with no LSD. The motorcycle guys over there that's like the resort for the motorcycle guys that's, that's kind of cool. cool yeah we saw a lot of bikes out here but a little gift shop here but apparently that was the tail of the dragon i thought yeah. we we're going to the tail but we, we went in backwards so we went through the tail while we we're thinking we're going to the tail but it was, fun anyway. it was fine we got loose a few times because yeah. those tires are tiny but yeah So that was, that's all the tail of the dragon. It's 11 miles, so how many curves? One sec. Wait a second. 318 curves. So what it says? Okay, so we, <laughs> see, we went through that, we went through that faster than we thought. So like, I, I didn't know. First of all, we didn't know we were on it. Yeah, so we, <laughs> we went through it backwards apparently, but it doesn't matter. If you come from Tennessee, you're gonna go through it backwards. You're gonna start from the north to south. And if you start from the base, which is like this whole area right here, you can like, pan around we already showed the outside but this is where you're supposed to start i guess and this is where all the pit stops and all the guys i meet up and anyways that's 11 miles of just all corners and i mean some of the hairpins are pretty tight too um but yeah the car did okay i wish it had better tires and brakes nissan and uh also <laughs> i wish the car didn't get so hot so fast oh well we need to do an oil change the second we get back to the shop because <laughs> uh, i hate this old w20 and I guess now we're gonna drive. I think it's like 14, 15 hours back home now from here. So yeah. We're gonna do this all in one day. So we're gonna be back at the shop in Houston tonight, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, so, probably maybe like a three-day trip. Too. Not bad. From yeah, that's including like a like you know s sleeping somewhere for two nights and just driving. <laughs> well, it's not that bad. But yeah. Now we head back with no internet. That's yes. why we got oh, maps. Yeah. Learn how to read maps, boys. When yeah, no, young. there's no signal out here, so we have to figure out how to get the. Two thousand years later. Okay, well, we're back at the shop now. We're gonna just move cars around so we can get this car, this car inside. Um, but yeah, we made it after like what thirty something hours of driving. But I'm really tired, so I'm just gonna move the car in, go to bed. Yeah, we'll see what happens with this car next. I'm sure next time we film this car, you know, something will be something will be done to it. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>